Amazon spent its first day as the owner of a brick-and-mortar grocery chain cutting prices at Whole Foods Market as much as 43%. Joining us on the Kogo News Live line is SDSU marketing lecturer Miro Kopik. And good morning, sir. Good morning, Ted. So what specific changes can we expect at Whole Foods? I think the, the biggest change, as you just noted, is the, is the price. Uh, you're going to see prices change. You're going to see a lot of prices be competitive or below supermarket chains, mass merchants, and, and, and it's going to throw the grocery trade into a bit of a tizzy for the next uh, six to 12 months. Well, that was going to be one of my questions. Could this start a price war among grocery stores? It'll start a little bit of a price war, but it's going to start in very specific areas. The the supermarket chains, uh, in particular, have been very effective over the last couple of years, moving their products uh, into the organic space or the local to table space, and 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 they've really taken big chunks of Whole Foods, which people talk you know say is kind of whole paycheck because it's so expensive. All of a sudden, that's going to put pressure on those very profitable segments for the traditional supermarkets. Now, here's a question. What if you're an Amazon Prime member? That is the, the $64,000 question. It, it, right now, Amazon is trying to figure out how to integrate Amazon Prime to become the loyalty program, kind of like your Ralph's Rewards or Vaughn's Rewards type of card, and that you would get special discounts above and beyond the lower prices in general. Uh, they'll get very competitive prices, and that what they'll do, because of their technology, is they'll be able to match literally store by store, market by market, with um, the, the traditional grocers in their locations, and it'll be really compelling for consumers. But how do they know if you're a Prime member? Oh, uh, well, ultimately, uh, there, there either will be a, a code, your phone number, something that a, the same way that you do right now that you just plug into your, you know, uh, when you're at the supermarket. You, if you don't have your card, you can plug in your phone number. There'll be an identifying code, and Amazon will provide the details when they're ready. They're not ready yet, uh, and they're just focusing on the, on the lower prices right now. And they're not going to just sell food. Now, I'm hearing that already in Whole Food stores, they've put some of their electronics in there. Yeah, you know, it's, it's kind of like the Amazon store, for example, in UTC. They're going to have a little carve-out section where they might be able to uh, showcase the things that are going to be relevant to the consumer of a supermarket. So whether it's the Echo or the Alexa, uh, where you can then voice your shopping list. And so when you're then back in the store, it's on your mobile device and you know exactly what it is. And ultimately, you'll probably be connected with Amazon Prime and Amazon Prime will drive that that shopping list. Now, eventually, I mean, and this would be way in the future, but would Amazon have a monopoly over grocery stores and can they? No. I mean, uh, uh, remember, Whole Foods is only 470 stores. You know, uh, uh, you know Vaughn Safeway is 1,100. Kroger is 2,300. And, and Walmart, who faces Amazon in every part of the, of the marketplace, has 4,700 stores, of which I think 4,000 are super centers which have food. So Amazon is going to be uh, a transformative player in the grocery space, and we don't know exactly how other than prices, uh, but but they're not going to dominate, like uh, at least for the next five or so years. All right, Miro, thank you so much. That is SDSU marketing lecturer Miro Kopik joining us on the Kogo News Live Line. Appreciate.